First, I would like to refer our members and the people of Unity State to the press statement dated 5 August 9, 2022 in which we withdrew our earlier demand to the South Sudan president to remove the Unity State Governor Drive. Joseph Ngen Manital. We penned the withdrawal statement with a view to give peace and dialogue a chance after meeting the Unity State Land and Public Utilities Minister in Nairobi. The withdrawal letter received an avalanche of protests and criticisms from the members of Leech community around the world. There was no single response or reply commending the withdrawal. They are insisting that our initial position and pressure on the South Sudan president should be maintained until Governor Manitou is sacked. More importantly, the reactions we received over our withdrawal letter show or demonstrate to us that the Leech Community Association in Kenya is the voice and the eye of the people of the unity state around the world. Therefore, I write to assure them that their legitimate concern is heard and respected. They say the voice of the people is the voice of God, and who are we not to adhere to the will of God? Hence, we must maintain our position and pressure for Governor Manitou to be removed. Following these reactions, we shall communicate that the press statement be full down from the internet forthwith. Second, we witnessed with disgust the extrajudicial killings of four innocent people by Governor Manitou in Mayhem County. These four people were mere suspects in the attack that killed Mayhem County Commissioner Late Gen. Chul Gatluak Manamith. On 8 August 2022, the governor ordered their brutal killing by fire squad without legal justification. In the eye of the law, suspects are considered innocent until proven guilty. In view of the foregoing, we now call on President Kyer, who is the chief guardian of our transitional constitution 2011, to remove and arrest our governor Dr. Joseph Ngen Manuel to face charges of barbaric murder of General Galuak Majok and three others. From the photos and video clips that we saw circulating on social media, General Gatluak Majok's hands and legs were tied before he was burnt inside the house by soldiers belonging to the South Sudan People Defense Forces, SSPDF. Signed by Dak Buath, Chairman, Leech Community Association in Kenya.